Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. iPad Today is brought to you by Slingbox, which would turn your iPad into a television. With a new iPad app from Slingbox, you can watch your home TV on your iPad anywhere you go. Check it out at slingbox.com. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's, it's macro, macro time! time! It's the it's the it's the convention for us. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> it's not CES, it's not E3, it, but it is for people who use Macs, and more importantly for us, people who use iPads. That's true. It's the iPad uh, mecca, really, yeah. as far as conventions go. It's MacWorld. It's at Moscone Center here in San Francisco, so it's right in our backyard. And we thought, why not do an episode of iPad Today from the show floor, which happens to be right behind us. It's funny because I felt like when, when we came here, oh, this is small, we'll be able to see everything of the show. And you probably could if you spent a day. But we didn't. We, 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 I don't know if we're going to be able to even scratch the surface. There's hundreds and hundreds of booths here. It's bigger than I thought it yeah, would be. Yeah, and there's a lot of cool stuff. There so is. we should probably get started. Okay, let's go. All right, here we go. Can we interview you for uh, uh, iPad today? What's your name? John Cornelius. Hi, John. Leo Laporte, Sarah Lane. We're doing a show about the iPad on the Twit Network. And uh, this is the iGrill. What is the iGrill? The iGrill is basically a standalone meat thermometer that is Bluetooth enabled, so it syncs with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So basically, this iPad is syncing currently right now with this device, with this iGrill. Temperature readings are both reading 72 degrees because that's obviously. The yeah, we don't actually have a grill here. You would be the fire marshal will be down on you. Yeah, they wouldn't let us actually run this grill and cook. And the plastic turkey would probably melt. Well, if we could run the grill, we'd probably bring some real food, but no one would be happy about that. Have you ever done a trade show where you could actually cook? No, but actually, see, yes, we did have some real food on there, but it did get kind of smelly by the end of the day. <laughs> Um, so the cool part about this, so you, you, you get the you get the grill and the temperature probe hardware, and then you download the app. Is the app free? The app is free. Um, the unit retails for ninety nine ninety nine. It comes with one probe and uh, four AA batteries. You could have more than one probe. Uh, it is two probe capability. So this one currently right here is two probes coming out of it. Um, so as you can see on the app, also it's monitoring both probes. I'm going to avoid any comments about. Never what? mind. And will it notify me when the when the when the turkey's done? It will. You can set a, uh, a temperature alarm both on the iGrill and on the iGrill app, um, and they will speak to each other and relay the temperature back and forth, and the alarm will go off on both the iGrill and the iGrill app. So this is great. So you keep your iPhone with you. you, you, you now, it's Bluetooth, so you can't go to the store and come back. No. Uh, it's long-range Bluetooth, so up to 200 feet away. Oh, okay. Um, so it's a pretty good distance, but you probably shouldn't be going to the store anyways if your grill's on in the back. I guess you're right. Very cool. Thanks for uh, showing us this. Thank you. Eight months ago, I lost my job. What were you doing? I was working for my dad, actually. Oh, and he fired you? Well, you know, it was a fam. My, my parents got divorced, you know, so. It's complicated. It's complicated. All right. It's a long story. But anyways, um, it was the best thing that ever happened to me, you know. It kind of kicked me in the butt to do something. Sometimes we need that. Yeah. So I sold my TV, my giant big screen. I sold my two dirt bikes. And then I just started, you know, I came up with this iPad case with this idea with the Velcro. And I just bought a plane ticket to China, flew over there, lived there for two months, and here we are today. So, know, so. tell me about the case. The, I, I, I like the Velcro. It's, it's cool looking, but what does it do? It's the only iPad case that's adjustable to any angle, and it's super sturdy. Are you sure about that? Because I feel like people make those claims a lot. I'll show you right now on this okay, table. All right, all right. Let's see. Okay, so here you go. You got your case that's flat just like this. You bring the cover out, pull out the kickstand, you're done. You're ready to go. Okay, now you can adjust it to any angle you want. So if you bring it down like that for typing, if you want to adjust it just an inch, whatever you want to adjust it to, it's good. It's all in the Velcro, isn't it's all it? in the Velcro. Velcro it's is like, design. it's the best material ever. It is. And you can, I mean, you don't have to worry about if you're in the car, if you're, if you're on a plane, it's not going to come out. See, it's still in the angle. You know, you don't have to. So you, the whole point is not to do this to your iPad. It's that yeah. it'll stay in place. Nobody's really going to dribble their iPad, but I used to. Play well, you are right now. So, yeah, you know, I, I'm the only one that does it, but 
So he gets a lot of attention, you know. All right, so this is this is this is kind of like a labor of love for you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, I love doing it. Yeah, for sure. So tell me, uh, is it available now, and how much? Uh, available now, forty nine ninety nine on Zugu.com. So, it's ready and available. Zuhu. Zugu. Zugu. Z u g u. Z o o g u e. See, I'm glad I asked. This is a new application, it's called Lifestyle Clock. And what we are doing is we are not having only the application, but uh, we are actually offering a full set of iPhone holder and face plates. So you put the iPhone in, you take the face plate, it's Velcro, easy snap on. You put it on and there you go with your original Black Forest cookie. Outfit clock. included, please say yes. Yes, of course, yes. Ulrich, where are you from? We are from Stuttgart, Germany. Oh, that's great. And what's your name? I'm Greg. Hi, Greg. Nice to see you. And is this because you couldn't have a booth, so you just thought you'd wander around? Yeah, right. we, we thought we are extending <laughs> booth space a little bit, you know? <laughs> Here's their little booth. I get it. Oh, exactly. good. All right, yeah, good. Yeah. So I love it. We are promoting this product. Now, here. later, will you slap each other? Uh, no, I don't think so. We're going to promote beer songs, and that's the reason why we're all dressed yes. up in later. We will, we, will, we will sing you a little beer song. Oh, yes. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. Eins, zwei, Xuffe. I need a beer. What's that? Are you going to show us something? So What's your name? My name's Elizabeth Parrish. Hi, Elizabeth. We're, we're here showing Touch Up for iPad today. Is this an application? It sure is, and it's a photo editing app, so it's uh, really cool. Yeah. I haven't seen this yet. You haven't seen this? Is it iPad only or iPhone and iPad? It is iPad only. It is iPad only. So let me show you some of the things that we can do. So we can You know what? I'm going to get over here okay. so we can get the shot, and I'm going to put this in your face. Okay. So here we are, and uh, we can go back to the original image. And I'll show you this great rooster that we took a picture of at uh, Puyallup Fair in Washington State. And then I'm going to go here, rah, 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 and I'm going to add the black and white layer. And when I did this, So it supports layers? It sure does. It supports layers, and it's a brush on, brush off with the tip of your finger. Is there masks as well? There is masks. Let me show you the mask. Is there masks? Yes, is there a mass? Is there grammar? You know what? I am actually having no electrons in my uh, fingers today. So look at the mask. So we used this mask and we, we brushed off the effect off of the rooster. And let me show you how that worked. Let me go. Let's, let's just say we want a new one. We're going to put black and white on. Look, we've got the mask. The mask is still on there. We're going to brush the rooster out of there. And, and no precision required because the mask is... Uh... Absolutely not. That, yeah, the, the mask is already on a different layer. Look at this. We can come in. We can adjust it to the pixel. The brush is always the size of your finger. We can bring it out, and we can take it off the whole rooster. Very cool. What's the name of it? The name is Touch Up for iPad. How much? It's $2.99. That's a good deal. Not $299 like maybe Photoshop, $2.99. That's right. I think you got to get it today. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. you. That's great. She, she came running over, I said, well, we got to talk to her. One of the things about Macworld Expo is it's really, it's two expos. It's this show floor with uh, product vendors. I'm sorry, Leo. Can I stop you for a second and show you the best use of four iPads ever? That's... <laughs> it's art. We have an app that lets you design your own phone cases. So I know that Jello Skins has that capability. Is this the same idea? No, these are plastic protective cases. Oh, it's not I a see. sticker. This is not oh, a skin at all. No. So you design. Okay, so if you're somebody who wants something that's a little bit more robust, sturdy. Yeah. Uh, now, how is it, it? Just any image? Does it have to be in a certain format? Any image? I can show you on the iPad real quick. Okay. Come on over. All right. So it takes. We'll take a photo right up your photo roll. Okay. So we got pictures of some children here. This is going to be really awesome when there's an iPad too with an actual camera. Yes, exactly. For now, you just transfer the pictures over. Yes, exactly. So right here, I got a picture of a baby. Ah, babies. Yeah, babies. I'm not just kidding. Baby. It's a very nice baby. It's not my baby. I don't care. <laughs> so, you know, here's a picture of the baby. <laughs> a screaming baby. I love it. A screaming baby. It's very zen. You know? With a devil on its head. This is good. Now, this is actually, this is you're kind of speaking my language now. I'm not going to lie. Exactly. So now I want to buy this. I just click on there and we're done. So what will... What you did, something like this, a hard plastic case with graphics on it. I really like this a lot. So what's this going to run me? 
This right now for the iPhone is $19.90, shipping included. The iPad is $29.90. So $29, 30 bucks for the iPad, 20 bucks for the iPhone. Basically, exactly. And it's any image you want, as long and you and you can scale it. Scale it, turn it, twist it, burn it, add text, anything you need. Sub costume at subcostume.com. Or the app store, sub costume. Or the app store as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Purple D. Yep. It's a really cool name. You never know who you're gonna meet at MacWorld. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Sir <laughs> Sir, what happened? I just wanted a picture. <laughs> Leo loves his fans. He really does. Turning, I think all the blood went to his head. He's yeah. turning bright red. Thank you. <laughs> nice Thank to you. meet you. How long have I been gone? Hey, look who we found right here in the uh, lobby of Macworld Expo. The guy who puts it on, Paul Kent from IDG. It's nice to see you, Paul. Nice to see you, Leo. Welcome. So we talked before the show earlier this week. Yeah. You happy? Yeah, we had some great crowd. Well, still have great crowd. It's really busy in there. Um, people are finding really cool things. Did you see that eye grill thing? Yes. Is that amazing? Yes. Like, you know, cook your meat with your iPod Touch or your iPod. It's crazy what people are doing. Hardware, software, accessories, it's all a lot of fun. So, Paul, it's a little early to start asking about next year, but you feel pretty good about next year? Yeah, I mean, this year, the, uh, we measure the joy quotient of how much fun people are having. We've got fun stuff to learn. We've got fun stuff to see. The whole show's just going great. Well, congratulations. Thank Thanks for so keeping much. Macworld alive. I really Thank appreciate you very it. Much. 27 years. 27 big ones, yeah. Amazing. Paul Kent, thank right. you, Paul. Bye. You're here at Macworld, and I yeah. got to ask you, are you an iPad owner? Yes, I am. Do you have a favorite app? Well, I like mostly the, the mapping programs. I'm not too much of a gamer, but I like to uh, follow things on the map. I fry, I fly, fry. I fry, too. <laughs> I live in Las Vegas, but I fly uh, private aircraft. Mm -hmm. And there's a chart explorer program on there that has the air charts. And I have the 3G model. Yeah. So I don't fly too high, but I can get the cell towers. So it plots me directly moving across the charts. It. So it's exciting. So for somebody who's a pilot and into aviation, the iPad is great for that. Yes, wonderful. So easy to use. It's like a, it's a poor man's glass cockpit, we call it. Whoa, you know, whoa, whoa, wait don't a second. Ever do that. Don't, don't do, ever that. do that. Oh. Hey. What's oh. wrong with these people? Can, They're can drunk. You, can you juggle, sir? No, no. I can juggle. Can I? Oh, look at that. There oh we my go. gosh, we've got a juggler. Those That's aren't amazing. real so, uh, iPads in there. Yes, yeah. yes, of course. We wouldn't use anything but the real thing. That's going to show that we can protect the case. Watch, any angle. What? This hurts me. From the front, from the front, from it the front. feels good. Too much energy, I had so, Red Bull. So there's a lot of rubber in this. Yes, there is. It's okay. actually built for gaming. Wow. Gaming. Can, I, can I do that? So it's got two handles? Two handles for when you're driving the car game, you know. And then if you're a kid, like, who, it's meant for, you know, active people if they drop it. This would be great. I know a lot of eight-year-olds who have, and you've got a strap if you need one. And yeah, you know, and, like, if you only want to use one hand, since it has the thing, you could drive. You know, like, when you're driving a car, you use one hand. We made it just for this reason. I love this. U-Z-I-B-U-L-L dot com. Uzi Bull. That's great. <laughs> look, look, now you can spin your iPad. <laughs> See, this is what happens is that the cases are just going crazy now. You're, what what you're, is this? You're crazy this is people. The Sleeve 360, the wearable iPad case. We've got the main function of this is to tether it to your hand, but we also have the availability the availability to do a portrait stand, landscape, and this thing actually detaches as well. Keyboard flaps, boom. Oh, I'm liking this. This is pretty cool. And on top of that, we also have a travel case to protect the screen when it's in your backpack or your briefcase or something like that. Can you answer me this question? Because we've been kind of curious about these straps. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to spin your iPad like that? Well, it's just... <laughs> It's more of, it's just a way to... It just looks cool. Say it. Yeah, it just looks cool. It's a better way to use your iPad. Sometimes you want to spin it around. Exactly. How many spins can you get if you, if you turn your wrist just right? That was weak. Yeah. Okay, okay, wait, we're going to have a little... Come on, no, you guys are supposed to be experts, so I want to be okay. impressed. Tim, what's your name? I want a showdown. Uh, Carter. Tim and Carter from Sleeve360. We're going to have a little spin off there from Louisville, Kentucky, which is... Uh, okay. One, then go. Yeah, let's do a three, two, one. Okay, okay. ready? Yep. Uh, three, two, one, and then you go on go. Yeah. Right. Three, three, two, two one. one, go. 
You oh, win. We have a winner, Tim Furlong. The guy Thank in you, the Tim. right wins. The guy in the left loses. Okay. UK, better luck next Clap. time. <laughs> Thanks, that guys. Awesome. Really appreciate it. Nice to meet you, Tim. Thank you, Carter. So nice I think to meet this you. Is really, you know, the that was cool. The, yeah. Thank Woo. you. The magic of Macworld is uh, camaraderie and games. It is. <laughs> So Sarah, uh, as we move to another booth, because there's a ton of stuff here, I would like to mention our friends at Slingbox. You know I, about Slingbox. I love Slingbox because they're iPad friendly now. Oh man, it's putting your TV on your iPad. It's so cool. You get the Slingbox, you hook it up to your home TV system, then you hook it up to the internet, and now yep. wherever you can go, you can watch your home TV. I just can't wait till like, the baseball season starts, and I go to the ballpark. They've got Wi-Fi at the ballpark. I get my iPad, and I can actually watch the replays on the iPad while I'm watching the game. I mean, that's going to be awesome. Awesome. <laughs> do you really do that? Yes, I totally will do that. Yeah. I listen to the radio. Why not? You know. I guess that's true. I guess that's the true. The big games coming up. You uh, you want to you know be sure you're at the DMV or something. You got to work. You can't see the game. Don't worry. Take your iPad with you. It works with the iPad, the iPod Touch with Wi-Fi, BlackBerry, Apple's iPhone, of course Macintosh and Windows on the laptop. Anywhere you go, if you can get online, you can watch your home TV with no additional expense, no fees, nothing, because. It's your TV stations. It's your stuff. So imagine having to pack your entire home theater system and take it with you when you have to go. You know, you to don't have to. Arkansas you got your iPad. For work. So here's you what I want you that. to do: find out about the Slingbox at Slingbox.com. You can get Slingbox at Amazon and at Best Buy. It's really a great tool for anybody who uh, who likes watching TV and 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 isn't always around to do so. Love Slingbox. We love Slingbox and we thank them for their support for iPad today. Ooh, let's see, what else can we see around here? Look at this, this is interesting, a drawer. So if you have hundreds of iPods, <laughs> you could store them in a metal drawer. Now, is it storage or are they also charging? It charges and syncs 20 devices to an individual iTunes library. Who would want to do that? Schools, museums, uh, institutional users that are distributing the handhelds. Or, or, or me, because I probably have 20 iPods. Well, I mean, everyone at the studio, if we all wanted to get together and charge, charge at once it. and then put the drawer away, we could. Absolutely. Is it assemble yourself, or how do we, how does it? It comes plug and play. It's Look at a, the size of that it's a, it's a very small footprint. We have various accessories that we build around the solution. So it doesn't have to be in a drawer at all. It can be wherever you want it to be. You can put it on a desktop, in a, in a desk drawer, in a filing cabinet, in a laptop okay. cart. But the name of this show is iPad Today. When are you making one of these for 20 iPads? Yeah. We have one in development. Really? <laughs> He's lying. I, I can I'm, tell. I'm not lying. Really? We do have one in development. Really? Our hope it would be a lot bigger. Um, it'll be actually a, a system that'll charge and sync 10 devices. Just like which, that, boom. Which can be daisy-chained and scaled appropriately depending on the number of there devices that are required. In a classroom setting, we're looking about 10 or 20. Now, are you saying this will all sync to one computer? There's the proof. Look at that. Oh I've gosh. never seen that on an, I, on an on a iTunes. Yeah, all of them are showing up there. That's yeah. hysterical. We work with museums, so they're distributing larger quantities of devices yet. So we're daisy chaining multiple docks, and you open iTunes, you'll see 100 devices staring at you at the screen. This is actually cool. Are museums primarily, you know, like audio tour type of software? Absolutely. Here's an example of a tour. This was developed by a company called Odyssey Media. Uh -huh. um, it's an, an Odyssey. It's a, it's an audio tour and a video tour. You've got a map, for example, if you click on property map. I, I've been to this museum. Is this the, uh, the Ford? Ed's, the Edsel Ford House. Yeah, I've been there. There yeah. you go. This um, is really you cool. You have a property map, and you can enlarge it or, or make it smaller. Click on a hot spot, and then you'll have layered content. So this is absolutely being used in museums today. The Getty Museum, the American Museum of Natural History, the Smithsonian Museum are all you know, moving towards apps and are using our what product What a great idea. It. You know, it's funny. It was easy for us to go, who would ever have this many? But that's just a, the perfect, now I understand. perfect example right there. Yeah. It's a really cool niche. and Not a lot of players are addressing it like we do, and so we benefit handsomely from it. How much is our, uh, how much is our little apparatus here? The dock costs $980. The enclosure, which is optional, is an additional $250. Then we have a transport solution that's $198. Yeah, I see. You have a bag here, which is great. So if you're a traveling museum. A traveling museum. Yeah. Maybe not, maybe not for the average Hurry, hurry, hurry. Person. Step right up an iPad for every person. <laughs> the drawer. What's it, what is this? This is Fling, which is a game controller for iPad. And uh, let me get this going here for you. Whoops. We're going to go back, go back. Yeah, it's that's tricky. 
All right, so what we have, this is Meteor Blitz, which is a fun game. It has two virtual joysticks. So, so you just position them over the virtual joystick. Correct. So why don't you try using it without the joystick? Or if All right, let's try it here. Yeah, give me a try and see what you think. You hold the mic. Absolutely. Oh, oh, it's like asteroids, but it's hard. Oh, gosh. I'm re okay, okay. Oh, okay, I blew up. All right, Maybe so it'd be a little died. easier if I had a joystick. If only. If only. Okay, now watch. Watch, look at that, so he just suctions those on. we're gonna put right over top, we're gonna center it right on top of either one. That's not too hard to do, I mean. No, it's pretty A simple. lot of games have these. Try now you, you buy it, you sell them one at a time. Oh, you can get it as a two pack. Oh my gosh, it's so much easier. Oh my gosh, that's so I'm cool. a killer, stand back, here I come. Actually, really, you know what? It really is a lot easier. That's a good choice. I think you've already doubled your score. Yeah, that's really interesting, it's considerably easier. Touch screens can't do everything. I mean, this is actually something that you're moving around. It's just more natural. It is. I don't, I've never played this game. I don't even know how to play this game, and I'm playing it like a pro. So that's, this, is, uh, this is really cool. $25 for two. 25 for two is a show special. Normal retail is 30 for uh, two, for a two-pack. Uh, you know what? I give him my seal of approval. That actually really, really works. You guys are so cr clever and creative. You're using the same capacitance technology as in the Pogo for, for the little buttons, uh, I presume. It's a little different, but same concepts. Really neat. We, the people of Earth, want to thank iPad. you. Welcome. iPad. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you speak English. Yes, but very little. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a tune-up. I use it. It's a really great uh, iTunes cleaner. Everybody has lots of extra cruft in their iTunes. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. We're Captain Tune-Up, and our special powers that we clean up your iTunes library. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Will so. you come to my house? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> so what's, uh, what's the most exciting thing that you've seen on the show floor? Something I'm seeing a lot of here are like uh, iPad cases that are like module systems. Uh -huh. So like there, were, there were, I've seen like two or three already that are you know they you can clip on wall mounts or shoulder mounts or something like that. I've seen a lot of those and I'm kind of interested in that because I use my iPad essentially as a laptop substitute at the moment. I don't have a laptop, so I can't do video editing, which is the one thing I wish the iPad could do. But uh, I use it a lot for email and you know like I said pages and a lot of that text-based work. So I'm kind of excited about the kind of bringing it out more into the world, making it more of a mobile device, adding things like stands and cases and shoulder straps to it. I'm pretty excited about that. I think a lot of the iPad case uh, makers have come to the conclusion that a case that can be four cases in one is better than one case that does a lot of things well because it's mobile and we're all over the place. Exactly. The one thing they have to watch out for is that it doesn't start looking like some kind of a weird you know, a weird science project. Have you seen or, some of these cases? I know. They're, they're, yeah. Some of, some of them are really very sleek and streamlined. Others are very kind of, it's like, okay, you attached a Velcro pad to the back of an iPad. Congratulations. But it's not quite, yeah. I mean, the iPad is a very sleek device. So a, a modular system needs to be just as sleek to kind of work with it, I think. Cool. All right, Cameron. Well, thanks so much. And we'll have to check out the Harwood Podcast Network. Yeah. Uh, where, uh, what's the URL? How can people find out about you? Website is www.harwoodpodcast.com. H-A-R-W-O-O-D podcast.com. You heard it here. Thanks so much. Thank Have you. fun. You too. So, uh, so I shot this with, a, with our new app. That's gorgeous. You didn't do that with an iPhone. I did. This is with an iPhone. Here, I'll show it to you. This will blow your mind. Wait. My phone doesn't die. Okay. So I'm going to create a new project. Okay. So now check this out. So you see the targeting system right there? You've got a grid at the bottom, but you also have a square above. So that's going to tell you kind of how far you've gone, right? Okay, I'm going to take a picture, and then it fills in the square. Then as long as I keep the target in between the crosshairs, right? It, it's so you're going to try to fill in that whole grid? Now watch. I'm going, to, I'm going to skip one, Oh, okay, and I'm going to take one. And then you see there's a space. Now I can go back, and as long as the grid is there, right, that target's there, I have it. So it'll tell you when you're missing stuff. So you can do like a cathedral wall, like three, three pictures up and, tw and, and 12 across, and it'll stitch it together. And so this one, for example, is? How many squares is that? Eight. Only eight? Only eight, so eight squares. But look at the stitching, so the thing about this targeting system is whatever stitching software you use, 
it wants you to have 25% overlap from one image to another, okay? So our targeting system does that. It says, okay, as long as you're somewhere in the middle, you've got it, all right? And any stitching software will like that. So if you look at this, right, you can't... So what you're saying is you're going to take the images, you put them on your photo album, you could use Panorama or some other stitching program. Anything. And, and, it, and, and with our app, you upload to the cloud automatically. Does your app do the stitching as well? Well, no. It's just for taking the pictures. Just right now, we are about to upload our own stitching program. So if you're in project mode, it'll automatically go up, stitch, and send it back down to your phone. So right now, you'd get the app and then use it with Panorama, for instance. And right. And we're also going to do video sh shortly. Upload. How much is the app? Two ninety nine for two gigabytes of storage. Oh, you get the storage too. Yes, you get the storage too, and and also we, we have a whole bunch of features coming out that we're going to roll out with the app that you get as long as you buy the app. Can I go to the Ubic website and see other people's panoramas? Yes, you can. I, I just want to show everybody this image because this is the the image because this is this is absolute. Are you a professional photographer? I am. Yeah, I mean this is a stunning image. Yeah, thank you. So the nodal point of the lens is over the center of the tripod. So that, so the stitching software, what it doesn't like, it doesn't like you to move like this. You want to rotate on the axis, pivot. So it does that. So you can do it. You can do a three. I've done a 360 in my office. It's unbelievable. So who makes this tripod? We do. Oh, so this is part of the package. That's right. So check it out. How much is the tripod? The tripod with the case is sixty-nine dollars. That's great. Tell us how much you like iPad today. I love it. Why? Because you guys cover so many cool uh, iPad apps stuff I would never have tried on my own. Is there an, a particular app that uh, that we recommended that you downloaded and you really like and are using regularly? You did this one, it was like Airbnb, and I actually used that, and it was really she cool. Yeah, she yeah. used that and went to France. And you know that's not even optimized for the iPad yet, but it works quite well. Yeah, it does. So you guys are awesome. Thank you, Doll. Nice Ew. to meet you. Paradise, uh, California. That's Doll, ladies That's and doll. gentlemen. I got an email. I got to come go see this. I got an email from a PR person who said, the email started, I know this is a really boring subject, but... Really? Peter, yes. Peterson Birds, you know the Peterson Guides, they're world famous. They make these incredible bird guides. Nigel, I was just saying I got a press release from you guys that started off with, I'm sorry this is such a boring <laughs> subject. Well, I know that some people consider bore, uh, birding a little bit uh, of a snooze. I but think if, it sounds cool. If you're a it's birder. It's amazing, actually. There's a lot of birders in the U.S. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, one in five U.S. folks are birders. So everybody knows the Peterson's Field Guides. I mean, these are world famous. These are the guides everybody uses. Is the entire contents of the guide on the iPad? Everything in this guide is in the iPad, plus seven other books in the Peterson Field Guide series. So there's a tremendous amount of information. The iPad will hold a huge amount of information. So how, how, how big is the app? It's about 650 megabytes. It's not bad. The, the, it's one CD. Yeah, the bird sounds are the biggest, I think. That's Let's uh, hear what? some bird sounds. So if you're a birder, you're, you're out there with your binoculars, you're trying to figure out, am I, what is that? Is that a spotted thrush or a ruby-throated thrush? You could go, you could look it up in the guide, you could see the pictures. Oh, no, it's a hermit thrush. Yeah. The nice thing about this guide is it's been around for 70 Everybody or so years. It. It's been constantly improved with the whole aim of making it easier to identify birds. And so we put this guide, all of the information, all of the design into the app to make it easy for folks to identify birds. Let's get some shots because these pictures are just gorgeous. Can I zoom in? Yes, you can zoom in. Look at that. And so there's a lot of detail. Oh, and it's interesting. Look at that. It changes focus to the bird I'm looking at. That's, That's right. very That is so cool. I've never seen that in an app done. before. I love that. Yeah, we, we tried to think of a few things that would make it pop for birders and yeah bird you know birders there's nobody better than peterson's when it comes to you, know, you right. know your audience yeah so it makes sense that you'd have this stuff go ahead and from here you can see uh, range maps so you can see where the birds are it's a very easy way of uh, deciding if a bird that you've seen is in your area if, if that's really the bird that you've seen or not that's really cool we like it. how much uh, it's on sale right now for fourteen ninety nine until the that's end of the great. month. That's less than the book. Yeah, at the end of the month it goes up to twenty nine ninety nine, but that's still very reasonable. And it's in the App Store right now. Right now, it's been available for the last month. This is a version one 
but we're constantly bringing out updates with new features. We have some fantastic new features planned. And you do have an iPhone and iPod Touch version as uh, well. One app runs on any device, on the iPhone. Oh, it's universal. It's Thank universal. you. I really appreciate that. What is this Neo? Because whenever I see something that an iPhone is plugged into and it looks neat and it looks like there's speakers involved, I get curious. What is it? Yeah, basically the Neo i is our new sound dock projector. So basically you have a 16-watt audio system. The speaker's right here on top. And then also built into it is one of our Pico projectors, a 50-lumen projector that's capable of 120-inch images in a dark room. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here then, even though this is obviously pretty close and we're in a very light room. Mm -hmm. Right, you'd be able to bring it back in a darker room and again, yeah, up to 120-inch images. Now, how's the, how's the audio? Because, you know, speakers really vary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually what we've done is we've used DSP uh, technology and bass reflex technology to really bring out the audio from uh, a small form factor. And what is something like the Neo going to run me if I'm interested enough to buy it? It's going to retail for $449. $449, and it is available now or is it coming out soon? We just started shipping it, so it'll be available just in a few weeks in February in major e-tail and retail. Uh, can I, can I, hold? oh, it's very light. Yeah, it's very light, it's just about two pounds, and uh, it runs off AC power, and also we have an optional battery for it, so you can run it for two hours off of uh, battery p uh, power. I see AV, HDMI, VGA in. Mm -hmm. So you can also hook up yeah, laptops, uh, DVD players, or an Apple TV or other media uh, receiver, and be, you'll be able to move that also around, uh, around your house with the, with the Neo i. You know, before, uh, before we came over here with a camera, you and I were talking about how this is your very first Macro. It is, yes, it is, and uh, you know one of the big impetus for that is is the Neo I, but we also have uh, some of our other Pico projectors, uh, handheld projectors that come with iPod and iPad connection kits uh, and are Apple certified, and uh, you can use those uh, with those uh, devices as well. They work really well together. So you don't have last year, the year before, to compare to this Macworld. It's your first Macworld, so this is you know the only Macworld you know. What do you think? You, oh, you were at CES. It's, it's been really exciting. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, CES is one thing, but this this is a very unique experience, and the the, the crowd and the traffic has been great, and uh, been a lot of interest in our product, which we really appreciate. I would imagine uh, being being a showcase or somebody who's got a product that that you want to be as interesting to as many people as possible. This is just it makes sense because we're all here because we like Apple product. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly, and and that's kind of been uh, an initiative for our for our company is to uh, you know work well with Apple products and you know there's good reason for that um, you know because they are uh, so well designed and uh, you know so basically accepted all around and so popular that we're trying to get as many eyeballs as we can on projection technology and show people how practical it is just in everyday use and one way to do that is to have it be used with Apple products. 449 for the Neo. Uh, where can people go and find out more about it online? Uh, you, they can go to OptimaUSA.com. Well, thank you so much, Walter. Right, you're Enjoy the rest of your Macworld, your yeah, very thanks. first Macworld. That was really neat. What I love neat? Pico projectors. I do too. I don't know about you, but my feet hurt and I'm hungry. <laughs> Why is it about conventions? <laughs> That's exhausting. <laughs> That's it for our coverage of Macworld Expo. We saw a lot of iPhone stuff as well as uh, lot, iPad stuff. A lot of iPhone stuff, a lot of iPad stuff. The nice thing is that at least the iPad stuff is real because there yeah. actually are iPads this year. Yes. And it's nice to have everybody in one place that is all, they're all Mac people. It's not at CES where you're trying to figure out who's interested in Mac stuff and put them all in one little eye lounge. It's all, we're all the same it's fun. people. It's, it's really fun. fun. And it's fun to see all the Mac fanatics and the iPad fanatics here. Very Everybody's true. really in a good mood because you're seeing so many fun things. And a lot and of people know each other. Yeah. yeah. Every year we come back here. It's good stuff. Next week we'll be back in studio at our normal time, which is 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 4.30 p.m. Eastern time every Thursday on live.twit.tv. That's right. And for everything we talked about on the show, you can always uh, check out our show notes and make sure you get all your links and you get all your information at twit.tv slash IPT. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on I got today. Bye. Bye.